Yo everybody, welcome back to the 2024 NFL Eliminator Pool. Let's go. For those who don't know what an Eliminator Pool is, we'll go over the rules real quick. We got some prizes. Even if you don't follow football that closely, maybe you can play along. We get a lot of participation. Maybe we'll even add some more prizes to the pot. Let's go. I'm excited for this year's football season. Packers got a good team this year so let's go all right here are the rules every Tuesday I'm gonna drop a video you have until the first game of the week which is usually a Thursday night game to make your pick you can only pick one team to win one time in a season so once you pick a team and if you win they're off limits the rest of the season for you to pick if you make a pick and the team loses you are eliminated. So choose wisely. I'll show the schedule. So if you're not great at picking, it might help you out a little bit. If you pick correct, you're gonna advance to the next week. The last remaining person left wins a stack of cards. If multiple people make it all the way to the end of the season, which is usually highly unlikely because there's a lot of upsets, um, or they, we finish on the same week with we'll have a race for first place this video drops a little early so you have until Thursday September 5th at 8 20 p.m. to get your picks in let's take a look at some of the cards I've added to the stack already we got a nice silver mosaic Christian Kirk shout out to the Jags fans we got DeAndre Swift now on Philly, we got T. Higgins clear cut. Let's go. Travis Kelsey, Don Russ. We got a nice throwback Goldman Chrome of Kyle Rudolph. That dude was a great tight end for quite a few years. We got everybody's favorite Manning, Eli from the Signal Callers. Dallas Goddard. From the Eagles on the extra points with all them stars on it. We got a beast receiver, Antonio Brown. What this guy could have been. He was amazing. TK Metcalf in the absolute red zone. Nice card. Another throwback, Javon Curse. This is a beautiful card from Bowman Reserve. It's a refractor. Super sharp. This guy's a legend. Gotta have some Packers love in there. We got Aaron Rodgers on the Gridiron King. Kyle Pitts, rookie card from Select. Trying to give you guys a good look at that. We got a nice Garrett Wilson. Green parallel. Check it out. Nice rookie. We'll see how he plays this year. Super quick. See if he can connect with Aaron. We got Marvin Harrison. Hall of Famer from the Colts. Uh, silver and last but not least we got the Wheaties Breakfast of Champions Emmett Smith check it out a whole bunch of goodies we got wrapped with the Packers helmet folding it up let's go all right I'm gonna pull up the list of games for this week anybody that needs any help feel free to watch and take my advice if you like and if you don't just drop your pick down in the comments below and if you win we will see you next week all right let's take a look at some of the games we got a Thursday night opening game of the season Baltimore versus Kansas City both high-powered offenses we got Kansas City favored by two and a half that would be a tough one to pick we got Green Bay versus Philly enough another tough close battle uh, Philly's favored by one and a half this game takes place in Brazil, so could be some sluggish offenses. We'll see how that plays out. Tennessee versus Chicago. Chicago's favored by five. Young rookie offense with a bunch of new receivers. I think Chicago is a good pick for that matchup. We got Houston versus Indy next. Houston's favored by one and a half. Another two young stud quarterbacks. We'll see how that game plays out. I probably wouldn't place a bet on that one. We got Arizona Buffalo. Buffalo favored by seven. 
That's a tough one. I think Buffalo would be a good pick for this game, even though their offense has changed up quite a bit. We got New England versus Cincinnati. Cincinnati's favored by nine. Can Joey B have a nice comeback season? Last year was a little rough for Burrow. And New England doesn't have a quarterback right now, so that should be a good lock for a pick. We got Pittsburgh versus Atlanta. Atlanta's favored by three. Two young teams. That'd be a tough one. Carolina versus New Orleans. New Orleans is favored by five. I definitely would stay away from this matchup as well. Carolina played really good at the end of last season, so we'll see how this season plays out for them. We got Jacksonville versus Miami. Two explosive offenses. If you were going to pick one, I definitely would pick Miami. They have way too many weapons to deal with, I think. Minnesota versus New York Giants. Minnesota is the underdog here. The Giants are favored by one. I don't see how that plays out. They lost their running back. They lost their quarterback. Well, they didn't lose their quarterback, but they don't got one. So I definitely would be throwing money on Minnesota if I was still betting. We got Denver versus Seattle. Seattle's favored by five. Seattle is a pretty solid team. And Denver, we're just going to have to see what they can do this year. Las Vegas versus LA Chargers. Chargers favored by three and a half. Um, another tough one. I think that's a closer matchup than most people would think. We got Dallas versus Cleveland. Dallas is favored by one and a half. Another close matchup, which should be a lot of points. I would think that'd be an exciting game to watch. We got Washington versus Tampa. Tampa's favored by four. Another close, close matchup. I think Tampa's an easy lock for that one. LA Rams versus the Lions on the night game. They got the Lions favored by three and a half. Sad to see the Lions have been picking it up lately. So uh, I think that'd be a good game to watch. We got San Fran and the Jets on Monday night. San Fran favored by five. Definitely see San Fran winning this one, but with Aaron Rodgers back, we'll see how he comes out this year. As long as he doesn't get hurt, I think he's going to take them pretty far. They got a good, solid team. My lock pick for this week is going to be Seattle. I'm going to pick Seattle over Denver. Good luck to everybody. Make sure you get your picking on time. And hope to see you next week.